The last part here, we talk about the elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy occurs when some item changes its shape and reform. So usually, it occurs in the spring in our daily life. So elastic potential energy is stored in an elastic body, such as spring or elastic band, when it is under deformation. That means compression or extension. When the deformed body restores to its original shape, the elastic potential energy is released in this situation. Can you imagine the spring or rubber band? How to find out the elastic potential energy? Because the force is not constant in this case, so we can use W equals to F S. Why does the force is not constant in this situation? It is because can you imagine when you press the spring, you will find that it is harder and harder to press it. That's why the force is not constant. Then how do we find the elastic potential energy? We need the force displacement graph. By using the area equals to the work done, we can find out the elastic potential energy in this situation. So the force displacement graph is especially useful when we consider this kind of potential energy. So let's see an example. So now we have a person. He gradually pull the spring. So his force is from zero newton to ten newton, and there is the force displacement graph shown here. So by using the work done equals to the area under the F S graph, we can calculate it. But the only trick here, the value is C M. So we have to change it to meter in order to match with our equation. So the elastic potential energy is just equal to the work done, which is equal to three.